good morning to you. It is Tuesday. I am Sam with Jolie Flips Vintage. I'm heading over to American Thrift in Lauderhill, Florida. It's been about a week since I've been here, so I'm interested to find out what they've got in store for us. And then afterwards, we're going to head over to Red, White, and Blue in Hialeah, Florida. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to split up that video yet because depends if there's a lot of really good stuff at this store this will take long and that'll be just one video but let's see we wing everything here at Jolie Flips and I'm very very excited so let's head over there and see what we can Jolie Flip all right this place is packed today I got a spot because somebody was just pulling out so um they have good sales on Tuesday I think that's why they're packed I'm not sure two of my favorite places to eat around here if you go thrifting um, around here is going to be Pollo Tropical and Miami Grill. These are two native to Florida restaurants. Miami Grill was founded in Key West, I believe, and uh, used to be called Miami Subs Grill. So that is delicious, and Pollo Tropical is really, really yummy, too. Every time I leave Florida, I'm like craving it. I'm like, where is it? Not here. Um, okay, so today's sale is actually green and purple, and seems to be we have this large cart which is nice, but can be dangerous. Sorry about the writing on my hand. I was trying to remember to change someone's address on a box that I was shipping out, so I put her name on there, but you can barely see her name, so privacy. Oh, look at this. That's an abalone shell that's all carved, but they want 119 for it, made in Japan. I actually don't think it's even worth 119, <laughs> but that is pretty cool. What was it again? I already forgot. Purple and green, okay. Somebody made a comment on my channel about um, me leaving my purse in my cart. I know that you can't see this, but my purse, my uh, cart is near me at all times. This is really cool. We're going to pop it in here for a second. And I know my surroundings. You don't have to worry about me. I'll be okay. A lot of times you can't even see that I'm holding the strap or anything like that. I'm very, very well aware of my surroundings. And sorry, ma'am. In my training as a nurse, I have learned to be very, very perceptive of my surroundings. So don't worry about that, but thank you for the concern. I also want to mention, please check out the YouTube community board. I have posted when we will be doing our thrift along, which will be February, beginning, beginning of February. Uh, we'll pop the dates right down here, but please do email me. Please be sure to read all of the slides so that you could participate and know exactly what we're doing. It's going to be very, very uh, free. Like you can do what you want. You, nothing's going to be structured. So, all right, let's get in here and see what we can find. Okay, right off the bat, I'm spotting this little pre-Columbian style, maybe whistle um, thing. I think it's, it says $6.99, $2.99. Here it says $1.99. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If it's $6.99, I'm definitely not getting it. Then I see these really cool kitschy frogs. It's a planter. It's only $3.99, and there's a slight fine crack right there. All good. We'll grab it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. I don't pick up Fenton hats anymore. They just don't move. This is all hand-painted. Ooh. Well, oh, it's got a ship and stuff. Is it worth cleaning out for $1.99? I think so. Somebody actually painted that, like did it themselves. It's like a, it's like a project piece. Here is a um, confetti hand-blown paperweight. It is ten dollars, but I think that's worth it. It's got control bubbles and everything. Okay, so we're just picking stuff up like crazy. Uh, here's a verdigree unicorn, which I've never seen before, but I'm not paying twenty for it. It's made in Thailand as well. I've sold these before, so for 99 cents, I will grab it. They hold tea and rapid, rapid fire picking stuff up. Look at these kitschy little um, resin bunnies. How much do they want for it? Oh, 10. Yeah, we'll pass on it for 10. And then I think I see a broken, fortunately broken frog for 20 anyway and that's why they get broken because they just stay here for so long because nobody's going to pay that amount of money um, I think that's really Art Nouveau for $4.99 so is it broken? no so we'll grab that these look very old $7.99 there's two of them 
But I'm gonna leave it. Wow, these birds are $14.99. Why? Because they're Gerald and Company Tetel Bavaria with a chipped feather. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, let's see what else. Let's see some raccoons. Hmm. One ninety nine. Uh, this little guy's broken too. How sad. Seven ninety nine. These things I think could have been saved. It's too sad. There's a Chinese paperweight with a lot of bruises. This has been here forever, so it's probably fallen a million times. And it's from Ross, and they wanted like nine bucks for it. Look at that. Just damaged goods. You know, it's very sad to me. <laughs> I take things very personally, as you can see. Um, all right, nothing else here. Mm, that's pretty. Look at that, it's Imperial, <clears throat> 99 cents. I wonder why, maybe it's chipped up. Looks like a perfume glass um, bottle. Look what I picked up before. This would be good to bring to the market, I think. I didn't even look inside. Oh, it's like cards. Avenues. I just kind of like it. I feel like, you know what, I could really use this because I pick up business cards a lot when I'm um, out at different shops and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that for um, $2.99. I found, yeah, I almost hit somebody. I found this um, for $2.99. There's a little chip on the bottom, but really it's a cool crimped bowl and it's on the bottom. So it really doesn't even matter too much. And then here's a little... Oh, it's signed. $14.99. That's Aura for. Wow, that's different. Let's put it in here and we'll look that up. And then there's a little green basket. I try not to pick up the baskets, but if they're well priced, like $0.99, cents, yeah, yeah, we'll get it. This is really interesting. There's no chips or anything that I see. It's $2.99. It's got marigold on the top. I'm gonna have to really check these over because when I put items in the, the light box, it, it like I notice a crack or something. And then I'm like, oh man, I missed it, you know? All right, this is Tanella. Let's make sure there's no spiders and stuff in there. That's a cool shape, isn't it? Oh, I'm not paying $18 for it though. And then there's a whole Talavera shot set here. That's cool, but not for $8. I think this is Cambridge. It's a decanter, and this would actually come with um, glasses or cups, and it's only $5. It's really pretty amethyst, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass on it um, and leave it for someone else, because I have, actually, I have a set. Uh, not purple, blue, but it's stagnant. It's not selling, so we'll leave it. I think this is pretty. Let's see if that's mass produced. No, it's redware, $2.99. Look at it. It's a nice little vase. Let's grab it. Pretty sure I see an Empoli back there. I'm gonna go ahead and move this awesome oil lamp that is flash colored and go ahead and grab it. These are slow sellers for me too, but I really love all that blue glass. And it's only $8, so we got that. Mm, cool. I think that's really cool for $2.99. It's like a crackle stand. I can really use that for staging and things like that. Let's keep moving it. It's, it's getting a little crowded. But people get annoyed when I'm on my phone. They think that I'm talking on my phone and that I'm in their way. So they just give me these crazy looks. <laughs> wow, this is pretty. Made in Occupy Japan. It's a whole tea set for $3.99. Okay, we'll take that. I think I see a Reuben. I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. Let's see. It's really pretty art gloss, $6.99 for that picture. Um, I like it, so we'll take it. I think that says $0.99. Cents. Look at the drip glaze on that. I'm gonna do like a mini vase show soon. I mean, I'm planning it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Ooh, I'm all over the place, but that's because there's stuff jumping out at me everywhere. Like this wall pocket, which is kind of cool. Do you put your toothbrushes in there and your toothpaste in there? And it's signed. $7.99. Ooh, it's a little steep, right? Let me think about that. Look at this guy. He's cool. $4.99. Hmm. 
he chipped up? I'll leave him. I don't know. Look at this one. This parrot, Panama. Okay. And this little Bambi here. Looks okay, I guess. Should look for everything. Look through everything. That looks like Hawaii or something. Four ninety nine. This is um, Miramar. Not Miramar, Florida, is it? I don't know. Um, I see Gaston and Jacques. I think that's their names back there. Oh, look at this for three ninety nine. Oh, it's got a big gash in the back. You guys, this is really interesting. Wow, that's heavy. It's $50. I have to look this up. I think it's like a, might be an old seltzer bottle. 50, I mean, usually if it's 50, they probably like looked it up or something. Seltzer, seltzer maker? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, look at this. That's so kitsch. So Florida too. Five dollars made in the Bahamas. I like the googly eyes. Maybe I'll get that. I might put that back. I'm not sure. All right, what do we got here? Um, Himalayan pink salt. Why is there a bronze dice on here for five dollars? My curiosity is always peaked, so I put things in. The cart. Look at this. That's a mirror that someone made. Um, Gary something. One ninety nine. It's cute. Ugh, I like pottery. Um, here's another mini vase. Oh gosh, that's really pretty for ninety nine cents. Aww. Okay, well, let's get that too. And then there's the cat for seven ninety nine. I don't think I can make money off of that. Lancasters, that's pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a bank. <gasps> These kind of things always do well for me. He's pretty beat up though. I mean, as far as the coloring goes, there's no chips or cracks. So we're gonna get Uncle Sam for $2.99. Oh no, look at the cart. <gasps> what do we do? Okay, let's keep going. We're checking all of that. Let's look at this. This might be Imperial also. Yeah. 99 cents. So now we have a set. And it's all iridized too. So that's pretty old. Let's grab that. Any more bottles like that? Oh, look at this. That's interesting. Oh, it's cracked. But that is really cool. There's like all sorts of bubbles in there. Looks all violent. Um, I want to just look at this decanter right here because it has a really nice top. Let's just see if there's any markings. No, but that's really pretty. I wonder if that is um, glass cherries in there. Let's see. Not glass. I always like these old um, chalkware or ceramic wall hangings. I'm gonna leave it, $1.99. There's another one here. Um, that one's all chipped up. And then there's this very big catch-all over here. It's kind of boring. And then there's this planter. $24.99. Satsuma. Ugh, that's a lot of money. There's a pretty Italian tile. I have the, um, Italy show coming up. Made in Italy. So chips or cracks anywhere. $1.99 and hand painted. So we'll get that. I would pick this up if it wasn't all chipped up on the edges. Um, it's got holes in the strawberries, I'm assuming. It's to put toothpicks in. That's cool. This looks like glass. It's probably not, though. It's pottery. Mm, it's not super well made. There's a lot of really cool stuff on this side. Oops, let me move out of someone's way. Sorry. Okay, um, this I wanted to see. Oh. 
thought it was something hand painted, but it's not. Or it might be hand painted by mass produced. Check this out. This is hand painted and flashed. It's pretty though. $3.99. I'm gonna leave it. And there's this thing that wants to be a jack in the pulpit. It's not signed or anything. $34.99. We're gonna go ahead and leave it. So I found this little baggie for $4.99 and there's all sorts of really cool owls in them. I think that's worth it for knickknacks shows. I don't know what's up with these brass dies, but these look like bronze. $3.99. Die? Dies. Die is plural. <laughs> I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It's a Kurok tray. It's got a lot of scratches on it, but I think we can remove that. $7.99 maybe. Oh my gosh. We're going to grab that for sure with the cardinal on it. I'm always turning around going, oh my gosh, what's that? Right. Oh, look at that huge octopus. He's fifteen dollars. He looks modern, but ugh, gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I would definitely keep that, have that. Oh, here, I need one of these. I'm gonna just grab this one. One ninety nine. I I need any because I want to put up. Um, it's got a Christmas tree on it. Uh, well, maybe I need one to put up a wreath. I have a sea glass wreath that I got for our house and it's heavy so I need a strong hanger that one has Christmas on it though sometimes you can unscrew them though let me see maybe with the pliers yeah maybe I'll do that it's $1.99 is that Arthur Court what's going on here uh I think so I think it's Arthur Court five dollars what else is going on here pretty Israeli um, brass tray. What's up with the... Oh, it's missing a screw. Easily replaceable. $3.99 though. It feels kind of flimsy though. I have a lot of those Judaica stuff. Oh, look at this. It's cast iron. And that's an old one. Look at this. It's got a sticker. <laughs> Maybe it's like mid-century. Wow, we're gonna get that. I love how it's all nice. <laughs> okay, I found this one. $1.99. Check it out. I feel like, was there a reason I, I feel like I saw this before, maybe somewhere else. But look at the painting on that frame. Pretty sure that's maybe Italian? I don't know, $1.99? That's a steal. Okay, look at this awesome picture. Nobody likes pewter though. It's a Wilton company. It's also a company that doesn't sell well for me. It's not that nobody likes pewter. It's just that it's heavy and people don't really want to spend the money to, um, you know, for us to ship it. Oh, so this would be half of 30. So you're talking about 15 now. And these horned birds can do pretty well. Let's see if he stands properly. He does. So we get it for 15. We get it for 15. I said I'd be picky today, but that's just not happening. <laughs> that looks older. Tiki stuff always does pretty well for me. This is um, hand carved for 99. It doesn't look like a souvenir piece. And the handle's on pretty good. Just gonna get that. Oopsie. <laughs> Ugh. These are just crazy. All right, let's see. Got some beads. Got some nativity pieces. And now we shall go to the other side. I think that's really nice. I wish I had somewhere to put that. I love it. It's kind of like my style right now, Southwestern. I know that's pottery made to look like verdigree brass, and it's only $19.99. It's a light. Hmm pretty. I'm gonna leave it up. So I'm looking at this lamp. It's $119. And there's another one right there. 
I don't think it's 119 for the set. This obviously is really, really was expensive. This is full brass. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. Probably 80s. Oh, it's so nice. It's so Michael Aram. Let's see if there's any signatures on it. Yeah, I don't know. I really just can't find anything on them. They're so pretty. I really want to buy them. I just don't know where to put them. Oh, I didn't even find... I didn't find a marking on it. It's definitely good quality. And then this light fixture, too, I thought was fantastic. This looks a little older also. Ugh. Look at all the light fixtures. They're so fantastic. Ugh. I'm going to have to... I'm going to keep on rolling because I don't really have a place for any of it. This is kind of cool. It's Christopher Radko presents Shiny Bright Santa Canopy Plate for $2.99. But they only sell for about $25. But it's nice that it has the box. I'm going to leave it, though, for someone else. But um, it's kind of neat. I like that it has the original box. Hmm. Maybe we'll go ahead and grab it. <laughs> I found a Polish glass clip-on peacock ornament for $1.99. Cool. Um, let's see. Okay, so some pretty interesting things. Here's a pottery mirror. I think I like that. It reminds me of Roswell. When I visited Roswell, there was a shop that I went to, and there were all these cute little desert sand kind of colors, um, pottery colors. So I'll grab that for $2.99. And then here is... Something with a big old chip in it for three ninety nine. I think somebody tried to make that. I think somebody made that. What is that? Sorry, guys. Dodging a lot. I want to look at something there, but since we have to wait, I'm going to show you this. It's like in a celadon glaze, almost. Four ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at what I wanted to look at. This might be a project piece. Yeah, it's a mold. It's a camel for $6.99. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. So most recently I hit a dreidel jackpot. <laughs> and I'm finding two of these. Same ones. There's another one up there. This is a dreidel. And it came with this stand at the American Thrift in Okeechobee. And here it is at Lauderhill also. I'm not gonna pick this one up. This one's like plastic. But I don't know what's up with all the dreidels. <laughs> It's kind of cool though, but it's like someone's entire collection. Creepy. Ooh. <laughs> I was almost gonna pick this up thinking that this was all like, it is hand painted, but I thought it was like someone made it. It's mass produced. It's pretty though anyway, right? It's $15. Ugh. That'd be great for like decor. I'm like all Southwestern decor right now like all that's in my head so a couple of cool things here this looks like bronze they want $25 for it so no and then it was a really pretty oh it's broken Franklin mint unicorn with a broken horn okay let's leave that and then let's see Oh, this is neodymium. Um, not too much though, but it's like clear pink and purple. Um, and then there's this. This is signed, and they want 50 for it. They're not gonna get 50 from me. We'll leave it. This is a vintage Bambi from California. Um, usually, I've seen these without them being attached to the wood pieces. I want 10 for it, so I'm gonna leave it. It is bronze. We'll head over to the other store soon because it's going to uh, get a little crowded in here and I'm kind of over it. So let us do that. That's a really pretty obsidian. Um, owl, they want $12.99 for it. And I know they sell for about 30 to 40. So it's just irritating me that it's that much. So I'm gonna leave it. Look at this creepy thing. Oh my gosh. And here's some studio pottery. Uh, yeah. What's that say? It profits a man nothing to gain the world and lose his love. 
Gallery Blue Medina, Ohio. No price on it. Oh, $10. That's cool. I'm going to leave that. And could it be? Oh, these are, the, especially the vintage ones, are big time sellers for me. The Mayan calendar? $6.99. Score. I just, I was trying to blow something off of it. Score a lot. That's the cutest little Israeli ashtray ever. $3.99. I love the way they do their brass. So cool. I like the verdigree too when, when I pick those items up as well. All right. Oh, I forgot to show you. I got this for myself from Anthropology. Check it out. $19. And it's extra large. I like it a little bulky. I'm usually a large, medium large. But that's extra large. That would be really cute to just throw on. I think it's worth 20 bucks. I think I see mushrooms. Oh, yeah. $1.99. It's a mushroom trivet. So groovy. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's Sears Roebuck. Yeah, I have the canisters, so let's grab that. That'll be cute for the trash vintage market. We're doing the trash vintage market after Thanksgiving anytime. Um, you guys want to know where we're going to actually physically be. The best place to follow us will be Instagram. Of course, YouTube. We do uh, promote ourselves on our YouTube community board as well. But I put more things up as far as where we are, where we're going to be located uh, to sell on um, Instagram. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say that I put more because I do like I, I'll copy and paste the same advertising and put it on YouTube. But the thing is YouTube community board, it only allows us to uh, post five photos at a time. So there's things that you're missing out on if you're not following us on uh, Instagram, because I could post more things there. All right, so that took a long time for me to explain that, right? I don't know what's wrong with my brain. All right, I'm not seeing anything in the jewelry while well, in the bracelets. I can't really get through there. So, okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take off and I am gonna go ahead and pop in for Hialeah. Let me check out and I will see you guys there.